real estate startup Picasso is officially the world's fastest unicorn. Within five months, the company hit a $1 billion valuation. Picasso sells co-ownership shares in second homes. Properties are divided into fractions that are bought and sold separately. The company makes its money through a 10 to 12 percent markup on each property and a 1 percent home management fee. And joining us now is Austin Allison, CEO and co-founder of Picasso. Austin, great to have you on the show. Did I get that right? Having me. Yes, you nailed it exactly. So Picasso is on a mission to make second home ownership possible for more people. We're effectively creating a whole new category of ownership where you can buy a beautiful second home in a beautiful location for as little as one eighth the cost. And it's analogous to do-it-yourself co-ownership. Imagine if you and a group of friends decided that you wanted to own a home together in a second home market. You could certainly do this on your own, but it's very difficult. So Picasso makes it easy. We handle everything from aggregating the owners to making available financing to managing the home throughout the life of the property. So it's like a timeshare. No, it's actually very different than a timeshare. Um, the big differences are, number one, it's a single family home as opposed to a commercial hotel or resort product. But number two, and probably most importantly, this is true home ownership as opposed to resort timeshares, which we rights to use. And here's the test I like to use, Julia. Imagine if Picasso, the company, were to just go away and disappear. In that scenario, the owners would still own a real home in a real market that has real intrinsic value, you can't say the same about a commercial timeshare program. Okay, so talk to me about how many people have got involved in this and what happens if a person buys an eighth, for example, or two eighths, and then decides, you know what, I want to sell it on. Are there any restrictions on who they sell it to? And do you get a cut of that sale when they sell it on to? Yeah, so Picasso and co-ownership in general is growing very quickly, faster than we could have ever imagined. We've had more than a million people visit our website and more than 60,000 people inquire about buying a Picasso home or learning more just in the last six months following our launch. So there's an incredible amount of demand for second homes at a lower cost. And in terms of how it works, yes, you're exactly right that you can buy more than one eight. It all depends on how often you plan to use the home. So what we typically find is that one or two families will purchase a quarter of the home and three or four families will end up purchasing an eight. So on average, we see about five to six families per home. And the way that Picasso makes money is we charge a service fee that's 12% of the total price. And that covers all of, this, all of the services that we provide from aggregating the buyers to setting up the legal framework to making available financing all the way through to managing the property throughout its life. And so if the price of the home falls, and admittedly we're not seeing much of that right now, quite frankly, um, you still take a cut of the resale value, even if the person's in negative equity and sells out? No, actually we just charge a service fee one time up front. Oh. And then after that, when you go to resell your Picasso, it works just like a normal home where you pay a standard real estate commission but any appreciation in the in the underlying real estate goes to the owners not to picasso we retain no ownership in the property after the home is fully sold and yeah you're exactly right the real estate market is super hot there's a shortage of supply <laughs> and an abundance of demand so we're anticipating that prices will continue over time okay so i'm going to ask you for specifics now because you said one million hits on the website sixty thousand people showing interest how many people of families have actually bought in? Can you give me that number? No, we're, we're a private company, oh. so we don't have our specifics, but it's growing super fast. I mean, faster than we could have ever imagined. No, I'm allowed to ask, though, and you're allowed to say no. Um, what do you say to the criticism that, as we've just discussed, the property market's hot, there are people out there that are struggling to get on the housing market already, and you're sort of fueling with, an investment vehicle in a way, allowing people to buy second homes, whether it's for an investment or for fun or otherwise, sort of propping up prices? Yeah, it's a really interesting question. And actually, we help to soften some of that demand in this crazy housing market. And the reason why is because second home, and we focus primarily on second home markets. So when we look at second home markets, what we're seeing is a large percentage, in some cases, more than 50% of homes being purchased in these second home destinations 
are by second home buyers. And second home buyers only use their homes on average five to six weeks per year, which is a really inefficient use of the housing stock. So what we do is we enable up to eight families to purchase one second home, which relieves pressure from the affordable housing tier because without co-ownership, all of those aspiring second homeowners would be competing with primary owners near the median price point. But with Picasso, they can up-level their buying power and buy six to eight times as much home through this co-ownership model. What about global ambitions, geographical uh, spread other countries? It's a model that I can see working just about anywhere. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. So, you know, for me, let me just step back before I answer that for one question and say that, you know, the mission of the company is really about enriching people's lives and making this dream possible for more people. And this was something that my wife and I were, were fortunate to experience about seven years ago when we became second homeowners. And, and we want to make that possible for people all around the world. So right now we're in about a dozen markets west of Colorado. Over the course of the next few months, we'll be expanding each. So by the end of the year, you can expect to see Picasso in almost every major second home market throughout the U.S., as well as internationally. Are you profitable? Uh, actually, we, we are. We reach profitability very quickly. <laughs> you yeah, know, I can we, imagine. We're fortunate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're fortunate to, to have a, a really great solution to a really big problem at, at just the right time. I mean, pre-pandemic, when we surveyed our target audience, 75% of families aspire to own a second home. And what the pandemic has done is intensified that interest because more families have the rethink how they work. So we're seeing a lot of demand for second homes, and that certainly has created a tailwind for our business. Austin, fantastic to have you on the show. Great to see what you're doing and um, keep in touch, please. Austin Allison there, the CEO and co-founder of Picasso.